Okay, I've just pulled into Kalgoorlie, and this is the main street called Hound Street. And this is the motel I'm going to be staying at, the All Seasons. Hopefully I'm on the top floor so I can get a good view. I've been here a few times before, they normally put me on the first floor. So all I get is a nice view of the car park. Uh, I'll see you inside. Well, this is my motel room. I'm about to crawl into bed. Because I've been driving all night and I had to pull over for an hour. Just outside of um, Cunderland to have a sleep for an hour because I was out knackered after work, you know. Rather than risk like falling asleep at the wheel. Never actually done that, but I guess it's always the first time. Alright. Okay, I'm in Kalgoorlie. I got in a few hours ago. I've just um, uh, spent the last couple of hours sleeping in my motel room because I've been driving all night. Anyway, that's the Exchange Hotel. I'm standing in the top end of Hannon Street. There's the Town Hall Clock. And I'll take you around and show you a couple of places. This is the uh, Goldfields Art Centre that was built in the mid 90s when I was um, in high school up here. So any big show that comes to town, they normally perform here. Uh, this used to be the place where everybody used to come in the uh, summer. It used to have a really um, good water slide. It was like about uh, four storeys high. But unfortunately, this place is closed down. They've got a new recreation centre now about five kilometres from here. So they've actually torn down the water slide and turned it into a skate park. This is a uh, statue of uh, Paddy Hannon. He uh, engineered the pipeline from I'm daring to here. It's changed a lot now. They've added an extension onto the um, building on both ends, actually. Yeah. Okay, it's lunchtime. I've got my double cheeseburger minus pickle, fries and a Coke. So I'll spend the next 10 minutes eating this before I go anywhere else. outside of Norseman. And this is what's called a salt lake. On the roof there's a um, piece of the Skylab satellite that fell out of the um, sky and landed This is a great house. I'm just stopping here to pick up something to eat then I'm back on the road again. So a long way to go. Check this out, this is the Nullarbor plane. Um, it's a straight stretch of road that goes about 90 miles, the longest straight stretch of road in the country. See, it goes on forever. I don't know how well you can actually read that. But, uh, I'm at the border. I'm in South Australia. Uh, now I've got to head through to Victoria. But I'll probably find some of the stop overnight. Because it's probably like another like 2,000 k to the border, to the Victorian border. Alright, see ya. I'm actually in a town called Iron Knob. I'm having a little bit of car trouble with them carbon rods in my alternator are not making a connection and uh, so all the electrics in my car are playing up and my car keeps wanting to die out in the middle of nowhere. And um, because uh, of this problem my speeder was 
giving a wrong reading and I got pulled over and fined two hundred and ten dollars. Thank you very much. The cop didn't want to know about my car trouble. But, um, this is where I made it here, otherwise my car could have stopped out in the middle of nowhere and I don't think he would have come back to give me a tow somehow. It's a pretty little town. Anyway, hopefully I'm back on the road again soon. See ya. Here I am in Port Augusta and this is Hungry Jack's. The Port Augusta store. There's a um, And here's where I'm going to have lunch. See ya. Unfortunately, I'm still in South Australia. Um, due to car trouble with the alternator regulator, uh, I'm about three hours behind from the speed, which means I have to make up for it tomorrow. I'm currently in Murray Bridge, so in South Australia. I'm trying to find accommodation for the night. It's about 8 o'clock here. So, I'll sign off for now. See ya. Good morning. I'm at a uh, motel at Murray Bridge. I'm about to get back on the road. I'm about 200 kilometres from the um, Victoria border. I should have been there yesterday, but as I said, I had a lot of car travel. Okay, see ya. I'm actually about three hours drive from Apollo Bay. Right there in the background you can see mountains. That's my car you can hear. See? It's pretty warm here at the moment for Victoria. Over there you can see a few sheep. And that's the road that goes back to South Australia. So I've got a fair way to go yet, but I'll see you later. I thought this would be worth a photo. But there are like too many trees in the way. I don't know if you can actually tell how far, far down the valley goes. I must be at least like a thousand feet above sea level at the moment. And I'm on a gravel road. And it's just wide enough to have one car pass at a time. So I've got to get back on the road. I've got a way to go yet. See ya. Check that out, eh? I wonder how far down that valley goes. Ah, I'm losing it now. Hey, I'm off the double road again. Okay. Check this out. And that's where I'm headed. That's where I came from. Just forgot my car. Unbelievable. Just some driving on a gravel road. This is Hungry Jackson Geelong. Mobile phones don't really like artificial light that much. As you can see, the Hungry Jack sign is all blurred. But anyway, this is where I'm going to have my dinner. Okay, I've just woken up. That's my hotel I stayed in last night. And I'm off to Hastings right now. First I've got to fill up with petrol though. Okay, I'll catch up with you later. Okay, right now I am in Melbourne. And here I am. I'm actually on Burke Street. The 
9th Street of uh, Melbourne. Let's go see if you've got any of those weird orange people prancing around. This is the Burke Street Mall I'm currently walking down. Um, I was given a bit of a um, bum steer. Uh, I was going the wrong way. I was meant to turn left the pedestrian bridge, not go over it. So let's see if there are any crazy orange people prancing around. So we can laugh at them, No, not really. Welcome to the Flinders Street Station. I'm on Swanson Street at the moment. Okay. I am currently in the Hastings. I'm trying to find my motel. Um, it's not here. Maybe they live in the Alright. Good afternoon. I'm actually in Hastings, Victoria. I'm in the main street. Okay, I'm going to go for a little walk for a Okay. Still in Hastings, going to be here for a, another day. I've got two nights here. A lovely motel with a spa. Here's where I am. I'm trying to take down a place to eat dinner. See ya. This is the main street. That's where I'm getting my dinner tonight. The Hastings pizza joint. And it's a ravioli, nocci, spaghetti bolognese, marinara, whatever that is. There we go. Okay, I'm currently in Ashcombe in um, Victoria. I'm about 20 kilometres south of Hastings. And this is a hedge maze I'm about to enter. So let's have a look. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I was in the um, southern hedge maze. This is the north. It took me about 20 minutes to find my way out. And that's a dead end. Okay, let's try down here. Let's see if I can get out in the um, 10 minute time limit that YouTube allow for videos. I should be about halfway through the maze right now. Have I been down here before? No. Okay. That's not the way out. Obviously. A padlock gate. 
I give up. I've been in the maze. It's over two minutes now. Okay, I admit it, I'm completely and utterly lost. Okay, I'm backtracking. I've got seven minutes to find my way out, or I lose. Oh, you've got to be joking, I'm back at the entrance again. Oh well. See? At least I found my way out. Good morning. I'm now leaving Hastings and I'm heading towards Canberra. It's actually uh, quite a cloudy day. I think we're going to get some rain. Okay, I'll catch up with you a bit later. To check out the name of some of these places, like none of them are like English, except maybe the middle one, sort of. Not even like them in the same country. Anyway, I'm about four and a half hours out of Canberra. I'm going to get back on the road. I got to. I'm trying to find a petrol station. See ya. You're on. It's on. It's on. What's going on, people? I think uh, it's just Dalga. Any, any weirdo tracing with uh, empty vehicles? Uh, anyway, not too much to say. I'm, I'm having fun here. I'm getting paid the taxes that you contribute. You know? Paying taxes that you're contributing and then collecting the taxes that I'm paying. It's a wonderful life. What do you want to say to Manu? Manu? You know, you're going to go far, working in rich shade on the road, and Roger, you know, you know that. They pay $80 an hour, or $20, maybe, you know, it's good money to keep it up. Uh, what about Raj? Raj. <laughs> Raj. Mm. Just keep going, my friend, eventually you'll get there. You know, you'll be right one day. <laughs> and Jacob? Jacob. Mm. You know. I'm not sure how to drive through the field like you say, but, but I'm sure it's the first since my time. And I'll just keep it up there. One day you'd be an excellent drive through. <laughs> By the way, this is my girlfriend. My dad. Hi, everyone. I'm looking forward to seeing you one day. Okay, so he'd just be lucky. Yeah, I think so. Which you probably will be. <laughs> Jacob will be there to this video. Good luck, Jacob. You know? Peace out. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I'm currently in Hay. I'm going to the pub to get some dinner. Very nice motel room, 86 bucks a night. I paid like 150 something in Canberra, and the one in Canberra, like the room was scungy. And this room is half the price, and it's twice as big. So I don't get it. I don't care how. One place can be so different to the other. Good morning. I'm currently about 3,000 kilometres from Perth. And I'm right in the New South Wales, as you can see. I um, just had two emus run out in front of me. pretty quiet out here. I've only had a couple of cars pass me in the last half hour. I actually just put my phone in the dirt. So. Okay, 
hello, Mr. Moo Cow. Why are you locked up, Mr. Cow? Why don't you shake your head at me, Big Mac? I'll see you at Macca's, okay? Yeah, I'll have a row in, see if you might be. Check this out. All these cows by the side of the road. Hello, big cat. Hold some little rock off. Here's a quarter pounder. Uh, junior whopper. Back in the luck. Ah, uh, we'll call that one Angus, shall we? Ah, uh, that one can be the cheeseburger. <laughs> See you later. Oh, come on. I don't believe it. My camera took like 30 seconds to turn on. I just missed two emus again. Okay, I'm about to enter South Australia. That's the um, southern state between Western Australia and like New South Wales and uh, Victoria.